God. Okay, we are on the way at our driver's license. Nexus ID. I've already got my license. Well, yeah, but, you know, the renewal. And... Uh, a law. Oh, crap. The fuzz. Okay. Ah! Uh, crap. <laughs> We'd be next to the DPS office and there would be the fuzz. But doesn't Chase. Would this be good? No. FYI, doesn't Chase look handsome? Um, in his. The uh, walls are in their car right behind me and I'm going to hit it. No. We don't do that. <laughs> but it is, what do they call it? Professional Friday. No. Corporate Friday. Instead of casual Friday, corporate, give it. Uh, it's just a style upon you. Hey people, <laughs> we are having a wind advisory for like uh, two days, so it's pretty windy. Uh, this thing right here, yeah, this thing, the umbrella, yeah, that's the word. It um, almost just flew up and I almost went to Oz with it, so there you go, but look at how pretty the flowers are. And now they're all over here, and somebody's calling me. That would be my child. I'll be back. Okay, sorry. He um, is having a friend come over, so he just wanted to make sure. Anyway, um, yeah, so wind advisory. So hope you can hear me, because I like to be inconvenient like that. Um, I didn't do hardly anything today. Tell you why. I didn't want to. Um, yesterday with Leanne, we wiped out one of the credit reports um, with disputing. And then um, we'll do more when on Sunday when she comes back. But then, um, what was it? Uh, oh, I made phone calls. I just got a lot done yesterday. So, today I've been watching, like, ghost stories. Uh, I'm flipping between ghost adventures and celebrity ghost stories. And, like, scaring myself because Chase has been gone all day. Um, this is a deal. You know he's at a Media Arts Academy? Well, they're doing this film, um, a whole bunch of, like, short films, and they're doing, like, the big thing on the big screen and all that, you know, and Chase swears no parents are going, um, but, like, they want it to be just the kids, like, the kids decided, but the kid, but the parents can go, they can buy a ticket and go, but... You can't stay for the after party, the parents. The kids have the after party because they did all the production, directing, acting, everything. And, um, yeah, so I would be pretty much stuck. Um, but, um, he's going to take a date. So, I got two tickets for him to do that. And, yeah. Yesterday, we also went and got our license renewed, you know. Well, I had to get a state ID. Eh, eh, eh. But I will say, the picture is... Now, they only print it in black and white on a piece of paper right now, and then they send you the real one in the mail. But the black and white one, I mean, I think this first time I kind of like the picture. I don't know. So, um, yeah, that was pretty hard. But, you know, I they said I had two years to get my vision back, and I don't have to take the driver's test again. Now, if you've ever been here with me, or 
like, okay, if you ever came to visit me, like nausea and, um, experience, you know, those are their screen name, or nausea's powder pink. Any, shush it. Okay, if you've been any of the YouTubers or any of my friends that came to visit me, um, they know that I ain't gonna pass no driving test. Um, cause I can't parallel park. When I first got my driver's license, they had a six month window where they were like, if you took driver's ed, then that's good enough. You don't have to take the driver's test. And then they realized that was a bad idea. But that's when I got my license in that six months. So I lucked out. So hopefully I will get into that. Um, I don't know if I told you guys. I probably did. I don't know. But my doctor is in charge of a lot of the research that goes on at the research hospital. And um, they're doing one for the optic neuritis for the eyeballs. And um, I am like a perfect candidate. And um, she was super excited. And I will probably get my vision back. So that's amazing and I can't wait like I almost peed a little just then just talking about it <sighs> so much so much happening so um oh anyway ADD so he's in that theater uh media arts academy and they're doing all the things well one of the uh things they he had to go be an old man like they have kids that are doing professional makeup and stuff like that for like movies and stuff so anyway he was being an old man and they use one of the kids houses as their grandma's house or something as the set and like professional lighting and everything it's crazy so he just was acting all day pretty much and then he came home for a little uno momentito bilingual and um yeah and then he went to go play video games but he's on his way home now um oh two things i wanted to address okay there was a little controversy not only um, a comment in the comments or a comment in the comments that makes sense. Ew, something smells yucky. I don't know what that was. Ew. Um, there was a comment when we're having the tornado on my tornado video and my friend said, oh look, all the Mexicans are coming home. And um, also on the Twitter, a lot of, um, uh, people in Spanish writing that I was racist or something, or my friend was racist, I put up racist thing, whatever, anyway, he's Mexican, I'm part Panamanian, um, anyway, this neighborhood... I would say 95% Hispanic, and he used to live here, so he was making an observation. He wasn't being racist, okay? Oh, also, somebody in the comments, and I can't remember who it was, but um, just made me giggle a little bit. Um, she said, you know, that's, you know, when I had my video yesterday, Oh, that's what I tell my children. You know, we got a roof over our heads. We got food in our belly. Blah, blah, blah. God loves us. We're good. You know what I mean? This is what, literally, what I really do say to Chase. The state of Texas says, I have to feed you. They never said you had to like the food. Um... Uh, the state of Texas says I must clothe you. 
they never said that it has to be in style or it has to fit. Um, and the state of Texas says that I have to have a roof over your head and in a safe environment, you know, type thing. Um, you know, it, they didn't say that, you know, it had to be the greatest thing with a TV in your room, your own cell phone and all that stuff. So actually I'm going above and beyond in parenting according to the state of Texas so suck it so um yeah when anybody when anybody's kids get high and mighty about the oh blah 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 because we you know had like the neighborhood we moved to were in the south part but in the north part where we were living and where I've lived <clears throat> since high school and so Chase has lived there almost all his life except for when we moved a couple times anyway ADD um you know they were like million dollar homes around us and stuff and yeah we had the apartments that were like ghetto as H-E double hockey sticks but you know it made no sense we had like million dollar homes golf course and then like a shooting do you know what I mean? Like, it made no sense to me. But, it's familiar to us, the area. We love that area. Not for the million dollar homes, because Lord knows I ain't even trying. Like, even if I had a million dollars, why would I do that? That's stupid. Stupid. So, um, uh, yeah. Uh, when he gets all, you know, when he was younger, he used to get all high and mighty about his friends got this, his friends got that. Uh, baby, I am going above and beyond. You're lucky that you like the food. You know what I mean? You're lucky that you're not wearing high water pants. And, um, you know, uh, t-shirts that show your belly button. I'm just saying. Like, they never said anything. And they never said any name brands. Nothing like that. So, what? But, anyway, I've got a lot of ADD happening right now. I have talked way too long. So, I'm going to let y'all go. I will see y'all, hopefully, tomorrow. I totally love your guts. Toodles, poodles. Mustache kisses on y'all face. Oh, and look at my ring finger. Look at it. She painted it. At first, I thought it was like long pieces of glitter. No. So, I just had her do one finger on each hand because I am a fashionista.